I hope that it brings um, some closure to the victims, if possible. Um, she couldn't have gotten any uh, higher sentence. If it, um, she couldn't have gotten any higher sentence anyway. So this is the, the most she could get. And I hope that brings some closure to the victims, if, if anything. I think this was one of the, the toughest cases we've had. We couldn't have done this without the victims. All of the victims were incredibly brave. They all came forward. They, they went through this lengthy process. We're not even done yet. We still have one accused to go. We can't forget that. And um, the victims have been through a lot, and so have their families. So. Well, it's, it's great that they, she got the maximum sentence. That's incredible. For human trafficking in Canada, it's fairly new. It's still evolving, and for a youth to get a maximum sentence on, on a plea, I think that was, that's great. So if you think that human trafficking isn't you know, in your neighborhood or isn't going to affect your family, it very well could. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I think the stigma and the judgment around these types of crimes needs to be lessened as a result of this trial.